I heard that there's a person who works at Channel 9 <laughs> who's got the best Luxa dish ever, Tracy Bowe. That is a big call, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> the memories of um, having a Luxa, especially even in Singapore, it like kind of kicks kicks right through you, I suppose, mm. with all those flavours. This is the perfect dish. I love making this dish. So come on, yeah, tell right. me, <laughs> tell me. I, we've got the ingredients. We'll throw in a little bit of oil, any any kind of oil's fine. So we'll get this going. Medium Yeah, heat. medium. You don't want to okay. overcook everything. All right. We've um, got some lemongrass, some ginger and some garlic. Fresh and out of the just, garden, the smell, the from aroma. Your garden. And I it know. smells so good. <laughs> There's something about ginger in particular that when it's fresh, it's just mm. got so much more fragrance to it. So that What's oil the difference, be, do you think? It's probably because they dry, the longer they're kept out of sure. soil and so on, whereas this has literally just been pulled straight out of the garden. Yep. Yep. And now it's going to go in and those oils are just going to go Psh. Doesn't that sound just... <laughs> I love that. I love that. Throw in your Luxa paste. Yeah. Now, you can get this anywhere. Whatever kind of flavour you want, you can get Malaysian style, curry okay. paste style. So this one's probably a bit more of a Malaysian style, in my opinion. I wish we had, you know, that scratch and sniff television. I know. Because at the moment, the fragrance <laughs> is just beautiful. So that's fried off there. Um, so, so we need some of the coconut milk. All right. Then you got some stock. So I've got chicken stock. Okay. And it's got this lovely, you can see the red through it, but it's got this really lovely, rich aroma coming through. So that's going to be the base to everything from here on, right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. You want some saltiness in right. it? So a bit of fish sauce. And that's sauce. what fish sauce does. Yep. When we mince the lemongrass, you want to just keep the top stalks. You just throw that in. So, Something okay, red so now, we've right? got um, this chilli paste that you can make. So it's, it's a little bit of the Luxa paste yeah. that I used. Also some sunflower oil, uh, some sambal olek or minced... Minced chili, chili paste, minced garlic, and uh, just some sugar and soy sauce. So I just mix it up. All right. I normally do about two teaspoons. So what we do is just put the lid on, uh, low heat, and then just let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we've got bok choy here. Like, it's just so, I love it. Most yeah. of these are a member of the cabbage family as well. Yeah. So um, they have incredible health benefits for you, um, particularly okay. gut health. Having them in your diet on a regular basis, really, really good. So important. Um, I think we're ready to serve. That was, um, that I was know. pretty quick. So quick, because you don't want them to be like too soft. Like I like these end bits here. You still want a bit of crunch in it because when you have it with the noodles, it's nice to have it with the stock and also to soak up the goodness of the stock. So this has more like a bouncy, stringy texture. Yeah. Egg noodles, obviously a bit more dense. Um, I love to have more of a stock with the noodles. Yeah. So yep. I'll do two servings. Okay. And bit of chicken. Bit so of this chicken, is yeah. some of the poached chicken here. Very simple. Because you want the stock to soak into the meat. Tofu, you can use some firm tofu you can buy in the main supermarkets yep. or whatever. But also um, you can do the puffed tofu that's quite spongy, right? Yeah. So that soaks really up. soaks up oh, the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that though. Look at the colour of it. So, like that? Yep. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the colours through that. Mm. I just love it. Garnish have some, Yeah, some garnish. So the fried shallots. Yeah. And then this is one of my favourite because I grow this at home yep. as well. So this yeah. is the Vietnamese coriander or mint um, and coriander. A little, a little bit of lime. Lime wedge there yeah, if you needed the it. Yeah, fresh from the garden. Okay. I might put a little bit of lime in mine. Mmm. Is it? Mmm. <laughs> There's not one flavour that overwhelms anything else. You know, you've got the perfect balance of salt, sweet right. and sour. Yeah. It's all there. Beautiful. That's pretty incredible. Yay. Well done, <laughs> Trace. Well, that's it for this week's show. I hope you enjoyed it. Isn't Tracy Vo just the most wonderful person? She can cook like no one else. I've got to tell you, get your hands on these recipes. They are on our website. Give them a go. They're delicious. Now, we are back next week. We've got another fantastic program packed full of food inspiration. Remember, this is the time to be growing your own at home. Get them planted. You'll be harvesting next year. Food security is just around the corner. I'm Trevor Cochran. We'll see you next week for Delish. <laughs>